La traite des êtres humains se déroule dans l'ombre. Nous ne le voyons souvent pas et c'est pourquoi des gens pensent qu'elle n'existe pas chez nous. C'est faux. Les victimes sont exploitées dans les métiers du sexe, mais également dans l'économie domestique, dans l'agriculture, dans l'hôtellerie, dans la restauration, ainsi que sur les chantiers. La traite des êtres humains compte aujourd'hui au plan international parmi les activités criminelles les plus lucratives à côté du commerce des armes et du trafic des drogues. Nous avons donc toutes les raisons de lutter contre cette forme de criminalité avec autant de détermination que contre le trafic de drogues et des armes. Let me conclude by reiterating the importance of clarifying the complex and sometimes confusing relationship between the concepts of slavery, practices similar to slavery, forced and bonded labor and trafficking in persons, um, all of which should by now be described as crimes under national laws of, of states, but they are not. I commend the efforts currently undertaken by the Geneva-based group, which consists of the ILO, IOM, UNHCR, and OHCHR, all of us being present here today, for its joint research in this regard. Thank you. We have to do this together. There is no one of us who has the, either the authority or the capacity to do this. We have to work together to promote, to promote the well-being of all migrants, something that can be done only in partnership with other organizations, those represented here and others with different areas of expertise and who are committed to the same values and goals and rights. This is the sort of partnership we believe will attract the necessary support that a holistic anti-trafficking and anti-exploitation program will require. The challenges posed by the complex nature and immense scale of human exploitation highlight the need for all stakeholders to actively work together towards its elimination. This event today provides an excellent example in this regard. Together with the Swiss Federal Department of Foreign Affairs, the Geneva-based UN organisations of the ILO, the IOM, the OHCHR and the UNHCR collaborated together to prepare this launch of the Swiss Anti-Human Trafficking Week. Recognising our common goal to fight exploitation worldwide, these UN agencies must continue to work together to promote better coordination on these important issues and develop a coherent strategy that brings together our complementary approaches. I would also like, perhaps by way of summary, very much emphasize the cooperation and partnership aspect of it. IOM and UNHCR developed standard operating procedures a couple of years ago on how to deal with victims of trafficking because precisely because of the recognition that it is impossible that one agency can deal with this phenomenon on its own. Our segment is a much smaller one. Um, we realize that very much, but as a result, I think this joining of forces among the various agencies that are represented here has been a very important area. Je vous remercie pour votre engagement et la volonté que vous manifestez pour relever les défis qui sont liés à la lutte contre la traite des êtres humains. C'est effectivement un phénomène qui dépasse les frontières, si bien que pour le combattre efficacement, nous avons besoin de solides partenariats internationaux. Et je trouve rassurant et encourageant de constater aujourd'hui la volonté, la détermination des acteurs de la Genève internationale de s'engager solidement dans la lutte contre la traite des êtres humains, et cela dans une action et une philosophie communes.